Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to share with you a tutorial. I purchased a pack of tags from Michaels last year and my intentions were, um, it was a pack of these type of tags, it did come with the twine and um, my idea with them was to make shaker cards or little shaker tags and um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I did them. So this is one that I made and um, really cute, very, very simple. I like the fact that I was able to have a back and a front side. So since I was thinking of making tags with them or shakers, I had some old packaging from other um, stickers or some sort. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but they're like little plastic sheets. And these are something that you're going to need if you want to make them. Um, so I had some. I already cut them to size. I added some ribbon to the top of these. So these are how um, they came out. Really cute. I did use some foam sheets just to give them um, a little bit of lift. You can see there. And you can get a pack of these <coughs> Excuse me, from the Dollar Tree. A bunch of them for like a dollar so that is what I'm using but you can use foam tape um, but yeah so I'm gonna show you guys how I made mine so I'm gonna go ahead and use this set here and then so of course when you lay them back to back they look pretty close I mean they do have like a little bit of difference but to me it's not that noticeable I think they'll look just fine so the first thing I like to do is I like to add the plastic um, I barely had enough to do this tutorial because trust me, it was a lot of trial and error. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just using a glue gun and, um, we're just going to go ahead and glue as much as we can and then stick the plastic. And then if anything, um, overlaps or doesn't overlap you just kind of have to move it around as you guys can see this one needs to go up a little higher and the glue does glue pretty fast I think that will be okay so there's a little bit of overhang on the top so I'm just going to clip that off and hopefully it stays yeah we're able to just to clip it off. I think the glue glued a little too quick, so I'm going to have to stick a little bit more. It's cold in my little craft room, and so everything glues really quick. All right. So you want to make sure you have the plastic little protector on both of them so here's one and then I'm going to go ahead and do this one now these are a little bit challenging for me because it has like that decorative ridge on the top whereas this one was straight um, and it had more room so hopefully this turns out okay because it might be more of a challenge for the foam. So again, I'm just gonna add some glue to put this piece on. And there's like barely enough. There we go. Hopefully that works. And I'm not adding any glitter, so there shouldn't be anything. So if there is maybe a tiny little edge that's a little um, off, you won't have any fallout. And then there's a little piece hanging here, so I'm just going to cut that off. There you go. So both of them have the plastic. Then we're going to use the foam sheets, like I said, any color. I don't have green or I don't have white or red, so we're going to go ahead and use the light pink, but I think that will be fine. So I want to just cut a little piece to lay here, 
and just cut a little bit just like that so we're gonna glue that right there get glue happy and that's gonna raise it up a little bit there we go I'm just trying to get the little spider webs of glue off okay then this is going to be the tricky part um, I want to have a thin strip of on each side of foam and then a little bit on the top but we only have to do that to one of them so that's the good part so I'm just going to cut a really thin piece of foam just enough to give it that little lift so and go ahead and glue that down but yeah when I got these last year on Clarence that was my whole purpose <laughs> of getting them was to do little card or shakers like this and I was going through my Christmas stash and realized oh I have these I totally forgot so then you want to flip it to make sure and I'm sure this is something they definitely carry right now and you can do these with the little um, frames as well anything that and I do have a few as tool and you guys know I love to use that as well but this is just to do something a little bit different and the foam is very easy to work with too so we're gonna go ahead and glue more glue around the edges and maneuver it like that and then we'll do um, maybe two little pieces very very tiny little pieces maybe we'll go ahead and use this because I don't let's see I don't want to cover up the hole because I'm going to use a ribbon for it so I'm just going to maybe cut two little pieces smidge and maybe just angle it okay so we'll do one little piece here remember it doesn't have to be perfect because this is like the in-between part no one is going to see it as long as it is hidden okay then we're gonna do another little smidge of glue here okay I order like those finger protectors for glue if you guys watch classy crafting something <laughs> I always watch her channel but she's always showing these little thumb finger protectors and you guys know I'm always burning myself so I finally ordered some on AliExpress because their Canada's Dollar Trees have them but our states don't so um, I've been looking for them can't find them so I finally just ordered some from AliExpress so in the future I'll have my little rubber little fingers <laughs> okay so there you go and then let's see how this is going to look on top okay that will be good so we're just going to lay the um sequence mix so i just have we'll add this merry christmas and some little snowflakes of course and then I've got some Christmas trees going on. More Christmas. Let's see if I have any more. Oh, we have an angel. That might work. A little bit of that. Not too much because these aren't very big. And then I have just like a mix already. And let's see. That'll work. Okay. So then we are going to glue again. This part I got to be fast again because my glue. 
glues quick. Let's see. And I have to be fast on laying it perfect. You don't want to shake it too much in the beginning because you want the glue to um, dry. And otherwise the sequence will kind of get stuck on the sides and bottoms. All right, that looks cool. And then I have some ribbon here, so I'm going to add that just to make it a little bit more festive, if I can get it through without taking forever. Come on, there we go. Probably cut it down a little bit so I won't use too much. You can decorate these however you'd like. This is just what I'm doing. And we'll do one more knot. You can stick pretty little bows. And we'll cut it down just a smidge. And then I always like to use a lighter to um, send the ends of the ribbon just so it won't fray when your pen pal receives it. But there it is, guys. There is my little shaker out of these cute tags that Michaels had. Super excited on how they turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I do have extras, but they are all just one. Um, I can definitely, well, this one I can make another one because it's two of the same. But the rest I can use as die cuts. You know, they're just little frames. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.